Hi everyone, this is Miss Anne here at the Warminster Township Free Library, and welcome to another video as part of our Tales and Tales Take and Make. Today we're going to be learning how to make this puffer fish craft. If you picked up a kit at the library, your kit will include uh, a small container of white and yellow paint, black paper, two large white circles, two small black circles, one large white oval, and one small black oval, two tissue paper thin cutouts, a fork, and a couple of cotton swabs. What you'll need to provide is glue. So step number one is to glue down those white circles onto that black paper. Kind of like that. And I used a glue stick, uh, so whatever glue you have on hand, that way you can kind of see in these pictures where I put the glue. Step two is to glue down those small black circles inside the white circles. You're going to make those pupils for our puffer fish. And so you can kind of see that that's what it looks like. And then you add them on top. Step three is to glue the white oval onto that black paper. So now you're going to add the mouth for our puffer fish. So we added that and now you will, step four, glue the black oval onto the white uh, oval. So, so glue that black oval onto the top of the white oval and now we have uh, two eyes and a mouth. Perfect. But we need to add some fins. So step five is to glue down your fins to either side um, of the the face that we're kind of creating. And so that will be what it looks like. Step six is the fun part, you get to paint. Start with your fork. Uh, so with the fork, you're gonna paint um, kind of the, the spikes of our pu puffer fish. Um, you kind of dip it very small, slowly into the paint and then you just drag it across. Um, so it kind of looks like that. And as you go, you can uh, go all the way around our puffer fish. Don't forget, forget the white paint. So after you've worked with yellow, you can move to white and vice versa um, as you go through. So we added some white detailing as well. Step seven, um, once you're done with the fork, you will move on to the cotton swabs. So paint on some dots with the cotton swabs. So that's step seven, and you can see that's what I was doing there. Step eight is the hardest step, letting everything dry. So put it off to the side, let it dry. I recommend uh, several hours. Um, if you did it at night, I would just wait until the next morning and it should be dry. And step nine, enjoy your wonderful puffer fish craft. Post it on the refrigerator. Give it to a friend, uh, you know, or a family member that you haven't seen in a long time. It makes a great gift. And check out that uncanny resemblance. So the one on the right is an actual puffer fish that I found. And so that's what we were kind of uh, creating on the left. Be sure to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and follow us on all of those social media platforms. We'll have more videos all summer long of fun uh, take and make crafts. So be sure to check those out. And as always, we hope to see you very soon at the Warminster Township Free Library.